My fellow Malaysia, the greetings mean peace unto you. I am Elijah Muhammad, the preacher of freedom, justice, and equality for my people, the American so-called Negroes, who are the truly lost and found members of our nation, the black nation of the planet Earth, which got lost around 400 years ago by being brought here in the Western Hemisphere from what is known today America by a slave trader by the name of John Hopkins from England who was successful in bringing our fathers here in the year 15 and 55 as Almighty God Allah has taught me. And that for this time, near 400 years, or more than 400 years, we have been here working most of that time as 32 slaves. And today, we seek justice. We seek equality. We seek freedom, above all, from the slave master children that we have been left under for now near a hundred years without ever enjoying fully freedom to go for ourselves and never getting justice, equal justice, among or alone with the citizens of the land of America. We are daily and nightly mistreated at the hands of our slave master's children who are ever happy to do us evil and never rejoice to do us good. They have caused us to work under false promises and never fulfill any promise of good to us. Today as it were yesterday, America, white citizens, seeks to do the same and worse that their forefathers did for us and our forefathers 400 years ago. That is to deceive us and making false promises. As the slave masters deceived us in many ways, like near 400 years ago, and making promises that if we be obedient to them, we would go to heaven when we die. And even they would teach that we would go at rest, which was all very common and easy to understand if we had only had sense enough to understand. For all men, and all women, every life that dies, it goes to rest. For it can never be disturbed anymore. It rested forever. For it is out of the world of motion. And it cannot die anymore. It is out of the world of consciousness. For it is unconscious. And will never regain conscious anymore. These are the open facts that you and I who are listening to this broadcast must come to recognize and agree upon. All of this preaching 40 or 50 years ago by the churchman, the preacher, that there was some glory awaiting us, that was good. 
after death have to say to it, agree with me that if nature had made us like that, to think and, and be expected heaven or some great good to come to us after we are dead, we would actually welcome death when we see it approaching. Because we know that we are going to go into a better place. It is natural, on the other hand, if there was some place that we go to be tormented and conscious of that torment forever, surely we would not want to die. But the good would always want to die to take them out of the no good. Yet today, my poor people have been believing in such things as a heaven after death that they would be conscious of. Now, 400 years. They must know the truth as it is written and the truth will make them free. It shall make them free, says the book. It shall make them free. John the 8th and 32. Why? Because they must come to the full knowledge of the truth before ever there can be any judgment. God would not be justified in judging people and they know not what he's judging them for or had not the knowledge of the penalty of their crime, had not the knowledge whether they would be <coughs> executed or chastised for what they have done other, of other than good. So these are easy things to look into, but we actually didn't have the knowledge to look into such common and simple thing. Today we, <coughs> here in America, numbering 20 or more million people, 100 years begging for freedom, justice and equality. Today God Almighty of heaven and earth, having the power of them both, roll up into his right hand is here and has choose us, the so-called American Negro, to put us into heaven while we live and not after death. For he says there is no thereafter to a physical death. That is the law of the earth and the maker and of God that we live we decay and we die. Our accidental death comes upon us, as we call it. Nevertheless, we all are here to die as well as to be born. All this way to prevent death, it is not to be born. So we now today feel that we are justified in appealing to heaven and every avenue of civilized man time to give us freedom, justice, and equality. Wherever daily going about seeking justice for us, our poor people and they find us. It is the same old hard way to go. In the midst of our enemies who outnumber us in population. Therefore, they know these things too. And just as Isaiah says, stands afar off, never comes near us. But all over America today, the black man is shaking himself moving himself towards the front that he may enjoy freedom, justice, and equality along 
with the other nations of the earth. It is always asked by the disbelievers, what do the Muslim want? What is they after? What they want from us? We want freedom from you. We want a full and complete freedom from you. We are not seeking your own. We're seeking our own. We want justice. Pardon me, second. We want justice. Equal justice under the law. We want justice applied equally to all. Regardless of creed or uh, nationality or class. Here we are today. Many of you are getting excited over the struggle that the poor so called Negro is making for freedom, justice, and equality. So many of us have not the full knowledge as yet how to go about getting that freedom, justice, and equality that we so much desire and is so much needed by us. That we make mistakes, errors, and going about it in the right way. Nevertheless, we are after freedom, justice, and equality all over the whole earth. Not, say, <clears throat> in America, say, Lord, the black man, wherever he has been exploited by the white man or his country today, he desires freedom from the power of the Western world, the white man. He desires that the white man leave his country and go back home to his own country. But he never goes. He wants to deprive the people of their national resources. He wants to get their labor for nothing. And he has, he has been very much successful in doing so too. He wants everything for nothing. Then he sells it at a very high price when he gets it. But what do the Muslims want? Me and my followers here in America have not protested against anything public by marching and all like of that. But we in sympathy with those who want justice, but not in sympathy with those who probably willfully and knowing accept their own steps to go about achieving freedom, justice, and equality. We must all accept Islam, the true religion of God, the truth. We must accept it. We can't continue forever going around with a false religion and we add in false in a false and get away with it. We want that true religion of God. We want that religion that we won't be ashamed of. This is the kind of religion we want. We want the freedom not just to go about to speak and probably ride alone uh, beside the owner, the white man. Not that kind of freedom are we uh, so particular about the freedom. We want the freedom to go wherever that we believe that we are quite are qualified to go and is respected. We want justice between ourselves and between everyone else. 
we want justice. But this justice that we have been after for many centuries has continued to flee from us. Equality cannot come in. But we are at this point now where that we must make a move. We must stand up on our feet and let the world know that we are alive again and alive forever. We want the world to know that we want something that we can call our own. Some of this earth that we can call our own should not be a surprise, nor should it be a hindrance to us by the American people because we want freedom, justice, and equality. No. But here in America today, after all of our toiling, after all of our sweat and blood and dying for America, your own foreign soil and own foreign soil have we went, put out our lifeblood as water for the white man. Return home, get beat up by the white man, get lynched by the white man, get deprived of justice in white man's court. All of this comes to us day and night. So a minimum number is now rising. And we want every one of you that believes and freedom, justice, and equality to join up with us. I said that those who are now parading the streets and elsewhere don't have the right step. That's true. I will not tell you on this broadcast, but I will tell you later on. And if you will come out to our temple. We may have a talk there with you. Freedom, justice, and equality. This is not asking for too much. Some of this earth that we can call our own, this is not asking for too much. When America first moved in to this country, according to the history, had nothing. We were not able to go for ourselves. And when we were free, we, were, we had nothing to go with. We had to remain with our slave masters because they give us nothing to go free from them in. Or with, pardon me. And today we want to be separated Go for ourselves with a little help from you. You say, this is all right. Why cannot we stay? We could stay here, probably in death. But it don't mean that we would be satisfied to continue to live under the same condition that we have been living under all our lives. That is a fear of being mistreated by our enemies. As we have seen some of us, seen them even parading among the so-called Negroes to give them a piece of rope that they just hang one of our brothers. To give them a, a, a sign that I am a murderer and I will murder you if you disturbs me. Our people like lambs, they remain calm and cool. No resistance. As the little epistle 
Charlie James says that the mystery is us all the while and we resisted them not. Beat and kill us and we did not even resist them. This is now being made manifest. But you can go so far with the coward even as much until you corner him. When you corner him, he might come out against you because that he believes he's cornered. And he will come out and tear your clothes off from you if he possibly can, and your flesh too. Here today we are cornered. There is no good sign for anything like the so-called American Negro will find his salvation here in job. There is no such sign for that. Therefore, we just cannot accept false promises on the promise that it will come. Not under this setup or this condition of the Christian government. No. It will come under a government of our own, not under the white man's government, unless it pleases Allah to reverse his words. We believe that this is the time in the history for the separation of the so-called American Negroes. We believe the black man should be free in name as well as in fact. By this we mean that he should be free from the names imposed upon him by his former slave master. We should go in our own people's name, the black nation of the earth. We should not think of overwearing the white man's name. And surely those who have mistreated us I will not now take us as their equals. We should go in our own people's name or speak one from the mouth of Almighty God Allah. We believe <coughs> And justice for all, whether in God or not. We believe as others that we are the due equal justice as human beings. We believe in equality as human beings. As a nation of equals, we do not believe that we are equal with our slave masters, we don't believe that our status as a free slave justifies us to say that we are the equals of our masters. No, the slave is not equal with his master. But give this slave a free chance to go for himself. Give him a free chance to go and try, making a go for himself. Let him <clears throat> raise himself up to demand these things by his own self-principles and how he treats other people, how he respects other people's rights. This, I say, must be done Oh, that we can say that we are justified in being granted freedom, justice, and equality. But to go back to our own, we are all ways welcome to go back to our own. We have a great world, and the earth as the whole of one teaches us. It is wide and expand. We don't need to worry others who have not 
and will not give us no such opportunity that I am asking. Due to the history of the past, how they mistreated us, could they overnight the very same people now become the very cornerstone or the very factor that we should use to be justified as the equal of all nations. But they will not do these things. Therefore, we have to go on holding to the true belief that we should go to our own or else prepare a place here where we can go to our own. I said, we don't believe in begging. That's true. We don't believe in getting on our knees praying to our slave masters, children, to give us nothing but the freedom to go for ourselves and let us create our own needs. Due to the fact of injustice being <clears throat> given to the so-called American Negro, our Negroes, this administry of the lash and the beatings and the shootings down of our people in the streets has caused us now to seek justice at any price we must have. And we do desire to get out of your coats and from under your judges who are determined to give us an injustice decision. They will never do justice by us. It is almost impossible. So the Almighty God Allah has taught me and others that the only way that he can give justice, he will have to be turned into a righteous person. And as it taken 600 years to make him into what he is in today, it will take us another 600 years to graft him back in our that thing that he was that he was forced in by his slave masters we are not <coughs> the people who you think that has risen up into your midst and have gotten an idea of our own to build up a temple or to just pitch off at our mouth any time we wanted to. No. no. This is not the thing we should believe but us. We're not that type of people. We are people that is honest and what we are, are saying and doing. We want to get away from you and go after something for ourselves. And this you are not willing to do because you would like the world to see you as a people trying to develop a civilization. And in other words, the hands of any nation or foreign nation. But we <clears throat> are trying to do the best we can to be sure that we make no mistake. We are trying to do the thing that we think is, is right. We want to be recognized universally but not by disgracing ourselves. 
We want to enjoy in the new invasion that has been created by scientists for ourselves. We would like to enjoy using them. We would like to have what we see other nations have for their welfare and health prote protection. We want it too. But in the condition that we are in, in America, we stand at the gate of a great giant man and the country filled with his towns and cities. And the wealth that no other nation can boast of. We're in the midst of that. And yet, we are unable to enjoy it because we don't see no sign of justice there. So since we don't have uh, no sign in the future that we are going to be treated equal address justice under the uh, present American slate master's children we would like to go for ourselves we have people among us scientists and we have also many technical trained men and women that would be a, a gold mine for beginning a new government or world for themselves. We must get away from being everybody's slave. That's the best answer. We have to do these things whether we like them or not because it is time. It is time. The ministers of mine should be very much enthused to help all they possibly can in the way of getting our people to see and understand the truth as written by the hand of God and his prophets. We must remember that these things were not put there for sport and play and laughter. We can laugh at these great truths and not to think of playing with them. It is dangerous and very dangerous to play with the truth of Almighty God as he has said out of his own mouth, that you find yourself playing with fire. I say the same. So what shall we do about the separation? If the government won't separate us and give to us a good send-off, then the government didn't help us any. But why shouldn't they help us with a good send-off? Why should they help us for the next 20 or uh, 25 years? Because they have no interest in what we are here saying and what else we have said these things at. We are sure that we must go for ourselves. We are sure that we will be hindered, but I say we must go for ourselves. I think if you and I would get down to real truth face to face, I don't think that you will object in a gleam. 
with me. That the time have arrived that we must relate and do something for ourselves. The very lazy thing of us will claim that he cannot go for self. And he has to imply to himself, well, what you have to go over there for or down there or up there. You don't have this and that. You'll have references refer to the white man's civilization. These references will not be able to change our mind about going for self. Because this is the only way that a nation can, could ever achieve any good for its people. That is, put them out to themselves. They are free people. Why well, shouldn't they go now and exercise that freedom? We want the world to know that we are in trouble in America over trying to get justice, trying to get freedom and equality. We want the world to know again that we are not sitting on the by begging for these things. We're trying to do something to help accomplish this desire for freedom, justice, and equality. We are working in every way possible. We are pleading to God and to man to help us to go for ourselves. Help us to do that which we will be satisfied with. It is the purpose of God in his coming, that is, to free the prison people, you and I, so that we might have a chance to do something for self. Serve him, and he will guide us in the way of righteousness and in the way that we may make endless progress and success. All praises is due Allah, who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. We can never thank him enough for bringing to us the truth and putting us on the right path. We can never thank him enough. And for the great blessings that he is sending down to us day and night. To whom be praised forever, Almighty God in person. The American so called Negro, all 100% will soon come to him and believe, as I believe. All over the world, they must understand and be taught that we have met with God Almighty in America. And he has given to us his purpose and his aims to deliver us from our slave masters, give to us a chance to go for ourselves on some of this good earth that we can call our own. There could never a better salvation come to you and I in the midst of this trouble world <clears throat> to lead us and guide us in the way of truth and to protect us from the evil plannings of our enemy day and night to destroy us. We can never thank Allah enough. We can never forget the great good that he has promised to us and is fulfilling it. We've got to not to think 
on how we may share in uh, how we may get close to the white man to force him to accept us as his equal or uh, as he accepts his own white brother. This will never be done. All of at such time that they may see that they just got to go and there is no <clears throat> more days of grace that they can live. Then you and I may be offered every kind of help. But we must not wait for anything like that. As I said before, we should be wise enough after hearing the revelation of Almighty God Allah explained which has been which has been given to me here in North America you will believe you also would join up we're not going to beg you to join Almighty God Allah did not fit me too big. And I don't need to be. For it is written that the earth in its fullness, its treasures, everything belongs to Allah. We pass away like flies daily. But nevertheless, we come again in this most of the time. And today we have uh, before us the time and <clears throat> the chance that we have been long seeking to do what we desire. We have Almighty God at our side to help us to help ourselves. We don't like to disgrace ourselves and others by lying down at their counters or stools, seeking to be fed. Now, are we going to be like that? Even though we may suffer hunger, but we just can't see ourselves and doing a thing like that. If we want equality with the white man, he's trying to give you a chance to do so. But equality without a good home that you can call your own is only words. And there is no such thing as being equal. To be equal with the slave master is to know what the slave master knows and to have and own what he has. If not, we are not his equal. We must forget the old slavery uh, talk and thinking that one day God is going to rise us up out of the grave and we're going to heaven. Get that out of your mind. This is heaven now. If you want to go in, the coming of God and His work, teachings there among us is heaven. God has promised his servants, that they shall not hunger. He has promised them that they shall not go loot. He has promised them a shelter on this earth that they can call their own. Why not be a servant of Allah? Descendants of Allah enjoy peace of mind and contentment. And also have from their Lord what they want of good. If you would help us, you would not say really be helping us, you would be helping yourself. 
because anything good that you do for us, you will be rewarded according to the saints of Almighty God Allah ten times for that one good that you did for us. We can't say that we should force the white man to do these things for us that we want him to do. We can't say we will force him. No, we won't force him to do such things because he has a perfect right to hold on to what he has and give away that which he don't want any time he wants to. So why beg him for what he has? Instead of begging him to let us have leave of him and go where we can get the same thing for ourselves by working and taking it out of the earth like you have done. We most certainly don't need to beg. We need to work together and work night and day if possible to get our people to understand that they must as a nation now, over 20 million people have some of this earth that they can call their own. There is no people on earth that is as wicked and deceiving as the white man, and especially the American white man. We must again remember that we cannot go forever round and round and about and about and round again thinking that he, the white man, is going to feed and clothe us and shelter us forever. We must not entertain no such idea. And fact about it, the help that he has given to our fathers, that he claimed was help. We must remember that that help was not in the way of sincere and good help as yet. We have ever been deceived in such matters. We want help like this to let us go free and give us a place on this earth that we can call our own. And since this has not been brought into execution, then we cannot say that it will ever be carried into execution. The good religion of Islam teaches us in such way that we should have something that we can call our own. It's a very intelligent and industrial book reading. As a slave, or now as a free slave, we want to clean up and go after that which is our own. We should thoroughly keep clean our bodies, external parts, and keep clean in your words and deeds. And this way we will be able to tell the world that we can do something for self. We look very foolish accepting beatings and killings just because that we were begging the white man for what he had. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to go after something for ourselves. A good religion doesn't recognize a slave. It recognizes 
a very smart and a very highly learned person. This religion, Islam, again, makes us to want to be clean. And it makes us to want to always stay clean. It makes us to eat the right food and always want to eat the right food. food. The Islamic religion teaches you and I that it is a religion of fearless. The believer is not to fear what he has accepted the true religion Islam. It is a religion that keeps you and I feeling good all the time. It is a religion that makes you and I feel secure wherever we may be. It is the power and the very wisdom and guidance of Almighty God Allah that we are successful. It is this religion who brought the white man and his people out of chaos 4,000 years ago. It is this religion, Islam, that all the prophets preach that ever were on the earth or in other place. This is the religion, a powerful religion, the religion of God and his prophets and the people of God. But this is a religion not wanted by the white man. You never find them out there in the streets or uh, over the telephone uh, writing to you, inviting you to come to their church. No. Because they know that they do not have the truth for a Muslim, and they know they're not giving the non-Muslim the truth. You don't hear that. You're not the equal, and you have no right to be looking for it. But in all of our work of trying to get the loan in peace in America, one day we will have to let this begging go and one day we will have to leave America's way of life and try to live a life of our own and our people. God Almighty himself will prepare this life for us and God Almighty himself will bring about the, uh, the necessary reform, reform for that particular world of freedom, justice and equality that he has now prepared for you and I. Thank you, and may we talk on the subject of trichinology of the enemy next week at the same hour as I say unto you in the Arab language, which means peace. I shall see you later.